Okay, so first things first, let's program in the E major scale. Easiest way to program in an E major scale. If we don't have the E major scale in front of you, or any major scale, what's the easiest way, the easiest and quickest way to program it in using a MIDI editor? I'll show you. I'll just change this grid resolution to eighth notes. Use my pencil tool, and I'm gonna actually going to program in the C major scale because it's the easiest one to remember. Why is it the easiest one to remember, John? Because it's, it's all white notes. Okay, and I'm going to select all the notes and just transpose them up until the root note is on E. There we go. E major scale. Yeah. Easy as that. Took me about ten seconds. Okay, and I'm going to rename this clip with Command and R. E major scale. Okay, having done that, that's the first thing that I want to save. That's the first clip that I want to save. But I need somewhere to put it. Now, if you look down the lower part of the left-hand side of the browser, it's called Places. There's a bunch of different places you can look for things that you might want to use. I've already got a folder called Scales and Chords. Okay, and inside that folder, if I get rid of it, says piano up there because I was looking for a piano sound before, are different folders which contain different clips pertaining to different scales. I'm going to create a new one just to show you the process. So if you click add folder, you can add a link directly in the places part of your browser to any folder that you wish, any folder that you've got access to, whether it's on the internal drive or on a, an external drive, a memory stick or something like that. Or you can create a, a new folder. So I'm going to put something, um, let me just cancel that actually. I'm going to put something on the desktop this time. Um, and I'm, for the purposes of today, I'm just going to, actually i tell you what, I'll still call it scales and chords. So that's on my desktop. So there we go, I've got a newly created scales and chords folder which has nothing in it. And the first thing I'm going to do with this clip is save it to my scales and chords folder. By default, it'll illuminate the text for you in case you want to give it a different name. But I've already called it the correct name, E major scale, so I don't need to give it a new name. And then just to tidy things up, I'm going to right click in this area here, create a new folder, call it E major, and I'm just going to drag that E major scale clip into that folder that I've just created. So now if we were to start a new project, or if I was to start a new project, like so, um, I want to search for that same piano sound, so I'll just type in piano in the search box, go to instruments, it's a simpler instrument, piano and keys, grand piano, just drag it to that MIDI track, okay, clear the search box, go to my scales and chords folder, which has in it my E major scale clip, which I can bring in, drop it into the session, there you go, we've got an E major scale, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that process, but I'm going to save all of the chords as well as the scale as well. Okay, so quickest way to put together all of the chords, I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the E major scale, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to rename it, just call it E major for now, and actually I'm going to give it a different colour. And then I think what I'll do is I need to create seven different chords, because there are seven different degrees of the scale, so a chord for each degree of the scale. I'm going to duplicate this one, two, three, four, five, six times, which should give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips in total. Now these clips are going to become all of the chords of the E major scale. Okay, so starting at the top, this needs to be E major. So, for, at this point you need to either refer to any sheets you've got or any notes you've got, or if you can remember what type of chords come on what degrees of the major scale. Either way, you need to know this stuff, don't you? So, the first chord in a major scale is what type of chord, John? Major, minor, or diminished? Major. Yep, yeah, okay. And to put together a major chord, it's simple counting. We start with the root note, we count up one, two, three, four steps <coughs> for our second note, and then we count up one, two, three steps for our third note. That gives us E major. If you have a look at your sheet, you should see that E major is E, G sharp, and B. Is that correct? Yep, yeah, thanks, guys. All right. So I'm going to delete the rest of the notes and. 
I'm going to highlight these notes, holding down shift and pressing the right arrow key. I'm going to extend it so it lasts a bar. So there's our E major chord. Okay, second chord in a major scale is always what type? Major, minor, or diminished, Kieran? Okay, so this is going to be F minor. Okay, so this time I need to remember the simple mathematical formula to put together an F sharp minor chord, or any minor chord, sorry. So I start on the root note, I count up one, two, three steps, put my second note in, and then I count up one, two, three, four steps, and I put my third note in. There we go, F sharp minor. Turn off the pencil tool by pressing B, delete the rest of the notes, which aren't involved in the chord. Select the notes which are left, press arrow back to move them back to the start, hold down shift and arrow right to extend. F sharp minor. So I actually need to rename the clip. Oops. F sharp minor. We've got our seven chords of the scale. So here's our E major scale. And here are our seven chords. And then back to E. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the major chords, so one, four, and five, just by holding Command and clicking on the clip. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to give them all the same color. And I'm going to give the three minor chords the same color, and I'm going to leave the diminished chord as its own color. So you've got a quick reference there, uh, color based to see what type of chord you're working with. Now then, we still need to save these clips though. So what I'm going to do is within this folder, this E major folder, I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, I'm going to call it chords. See if I can just drop it inside there. Yeah, and then I'm going to shift select all of the clips that we've just created accepting the E major scale. So we, we're just selecting all of the chord clips here and then same thing, just click and drag them into that chords folder. And I'm going to rename this E major chords. Oops. Okay, so now at any point in my working process I can drag in this .als file, which is an Ableton Live set. If I do that, it will bring in the track, which includes the instrument device, and all of the chords, which are saved in that folder.